the lost city. Right in the heart of it now. Out in the book, adventurers. Right in the heart, the lost city. Right then, out in the boot legends. We are now going to attempt this four wheel drive only access road to the lost city. This is most definitely a bone rattler. Now I came off road, off road, uh, and I said, give loads of warnings about being only in four wheel drive, high clearance needed, etc, etc. So, um, let's, um, <laughs> let's see what this brings. really get the feeling now that you literally are in the ass end of nowhere like I'm just on a dirt track falling it into the bush looking for a lost city <laughs> well if I don't come back then hopefully somebody will find us <laughs> it says I think it's about 10 kilometers this four-wheel drive track which is only six miles but when you're driving at sea sort of speeds and trying to avoid getting stuck, it uh, takes a time, but shouldn't be too much longer. We made it, the lost city. But my understanding is they're all made of sandstone. Um, but yeah, where do you see this? This is, um, it's pretty crazy to be honest. Like I say, what an amazing place to live. I mean, this is two hours from where I live. Look at this. Maybe it looked like an old Mayan ruins or something. I don't know, but I've seen that Mayan, but you know what I mean. But what do you see this? It looks like it's like doorways and stuff. But these are sandstone structures and I don't I don't know how they've obviously there's been waters flew through here many, many years ago. Look at this place, it's insane. Look at it. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at that. There's something a bit, I don't know, ominous about being here on your own. Like there's nobody about, there's no, not a sinner. We're a good six miles from the nearest road and it's warm. Weird spiders kicking around that I haven't seen before, and this undergrowth. I'm looking for snakes as I'm walking, <laughs> so I'll get bit. But this place, what can I say? Look at it.
So back to the car then, at the Lost City. What a spot. Saying that, I have a few bites that I need to take care of. I'm going to take a antihistamine. Maybe get some cream on them, because uh, God knows what's bit me around this place. But temperature's rocking up again. So we're at 34 degrees at the minute. But in the actual city itself, it's not too bad. A bit more shade, but come back out here. It's a bit crazy. Right, let's sort myself out and then we'll head back onto the main road through that four wheel drive track. So that's another 10k to get back that way. And then uh, I think we'll start heading towards Bachelor. Maybe see what's in that wee place. Look what I found in the middle of nowhere. A wee town called Bachelor. And we've got this mad castle type affair. Okay, so this is a castle that's in relation to this guy here, Bernie Havlak, Havlak Park. And that castle sort of where he was in Czechoslovakia, I believe. Okay, out and about adventures. We're going to leave this one here. A wee bit longer video than normal. But, you know, between Wangi Falls, Tolmore Falls and the Lost City, it's been a pretty packed day. So. Um, I'm going to jump back into Victor and then I'm going to start heading back up the road. Temperature now is 36 degrees, so yeah, it's bloody warm. So, out and about, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you for doing it. In a bit.